Uh, yeah, Dr. Naik, uh, first let me just say I'm really honored to be standing in front of you. I've watched your programs on Peace TV a lot and I really think you're great. Can we have so, your name? Yeah, my name is Mahesh Ursekar and I am a PhD student in the Department of Philosophy of Mumbai University. Uh, my question is a little technical. Uh, I would like to know what the concept of soul is in Islam. As you know, in a lot of Indian philosophy, soul and mind are taken as different, whereas in Western philosophy, soul and mind is considered as the same. So uh, my first question is, what is the concept of soul in uh, Islam? And the second question is, what is the relationship of the soul to the body? So that after death, uh, you know, does the soul leave the body? and uh, you know uh, things like that so there is a two-part question what is the concept of the soul and how is it related to the body and what happens to it after death thank you brother Mahesh has asked the question that what is the concept of soul in islam and what is the relationship of the soul and the human body and what will happen to the soul after death that's the basic question that's correct as far as the soul is concerned the soul is the essence of the human body the main importance as compared to the other creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, creation of Almighty God, the major difference in the human being, it is the soul. And it is the essence which will remain even after a person dies, which I'll discuss later on. As far as science is concerned, science does not speak about soul. Science hasn't reached that level where it can decipher what is the exact essence of the soul. But there have been researches done that when any living creature dies, for example, animal when he dies, as compared to a human being, when an animal dies, immediately after it dies, there's no difference in the weight. But when we analyze the weight of a human being, the moment he dies and he seizes life, immediately there's loss of weight. That means there is something that the human being is losing the moment he dies. But science hasn't reached that level so far to decipher what exactly is soul. Soul is the essence of the human being. And the Quran says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 185, Allah says, Kullu nafsin zaykatul maut. Every soul shall have a taste of death. In this world, this life is the test for the hereafter. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allazi khalaqal mawta wal hayata. That Allah has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. So this life is a test for the hereafter. And every soul shall have a taste of death. Once a person dies, his soul is not there. But on the day of judgment, when he'll be resurrected, then depending upon the good deeds and the bad deeds he has done. Almighty God, on the day of judgment, he is Malik Ramadin, he is the master of the day of judgment. Depending upon how you have failed the test in this world, depending on that, then your result will be whether you go to paradise or hell. So the soul lives. Soul doesn't die. It only has a taste of death when a person body lies. So the relationship with the body and soul put together, you have the human being here. But in the year after, there will be absolutely a new body given and the soul will survive and then depending upon how he has fed the test, he will go to heaven or hell. Hope that answers the question. Is the soul the same as the mind? But that was the question that is the soul same as the mind? No. Again, mind is abstract. If I ask you where is your mind? So we will say, okay, fine, you know mind, is it in the brain? So this is an abstract word, like how you say mind your own business. So, mind, when we say people start thinking of the brain, but that doesn't mean that the mind is in the brain, but it is different. So, mind is like an abstract word. I do not know where the mind is placed. But when we talk about the mind, normally we start thinking about the brain, but that's an abstract word. Hope that answers the question.